So today we are going to make maple candy with my dad. And he is from Maple Dale Farms in Atlanta, Michigan. Oh, no. Gets it nice and clean. Yep. Okay. So we're pumping syrup now into our five gallon pail. We're going to take up and dump it in our steam gallon. So I came down here and I thought, oh, it's back to my childhood because we grew up milking cows and this looks just like a milk house. <laughs> it's got the bulk tank, which is kind of how we got started making maple syrup 25 years ago. The story behind that is 25 years ago when we sold the dairy farm and my dad was ready to sell the bulk tank, Matt seen it and said, oh, I've always wanted to make maple syrup. And so that is when my dad started making maple syrup. Matt actually helped him for a couple of years in the beginning, but my dad started making it basically from repurposing the bulk tank that he used to milk cows with. Let's pretend that syrup, you see it coming into the bottles, and then once it gets full, then it pushes it back through these hoses back into the bottle. See, now they're falling out of the sprinkles this way here. Very nice. We got steam kettles, and we use these to uh, heat up our syrup to make maple sugar. And we go up to 245 degrees with them, and then we continue to heat it on the stoves to 260 degrees. Or we make maple candy. And so we're going to be pouring the syrup into here. And we're going to heat this up to 238 degrees. Then we're going to cool it to uh, 150 degrees. It'll be a bit low before it gets this up. This is evaporator room, which I'm pretty impressed with the beam work, but he's impressed with the evaporator. And so this is where he boils his sap in the spring. And this is a steam kettle, so there's, there's a little bit of water in here, and then there's a heating element, and then it heats the syrup to uh, 200, and now we'll see what we're temperature. We must be pretty close. Oh, 220. Oh, we're gonna be 230. We wanna be 238. Is it kind of like a double boiler? That's sort? exactly okay. what it is, okay? So we're 235 here, and it might be a little higher than that. You really want it to roll out of the top. Can you see that 235, 234? Yep. Oh, there we go. Yep. You okay. want it to be 238? 238, we're gonna give it a couple more minutes, and then we're gonna take and pour it into another kettle, and then we're gonna vacuum cool it. Okay, 237. I think, and so 238 is a number, so we're right there. Probably in another minute. So, um, so what? That's what it is. It's electric that heats us up. Okay, 237. 238. 238. Okay, we're gonna shut this off. We're gonna pour. Then we're gonna take it. I want you to hold that side of that kettle, right? Mean, I'm gonna kick, pick it up. I'm gonna kick this stool right off. Oh, got it. So, you're good. Okay. And then we're actually is cool Really? Yeah. This this is a crazy one. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up to 25 inch back. This is gonna go to boiling. In there. In here. It's just crazy what. Okay, so we're gonna take and vacuum cool this. And what we're gonna do is I go up to 25 inches of vacuum and you're gonna see the vacuum gauge going up and then it's starting to boil. And that's what's amazing is under vacuum, your boiling point drops. We're gonna take it down to 150 degrees. 
and uh, so it'll just take care of itself by uh, just keeping the vacuum up. You can see that the vacuum is up to about 20 inches of vacuum in here in a moment or so it'll get up to 27, 28 inches. Now, now you can see it, see it boiling? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So our vacuum, our vacuum rising, and then and this is about a five minute deal, and then this will come all the way down to about 150 degrees. 150? 150, yeah. So this is going vacuum cooling. Vacuum cooling. Is it the rapid cooling that makes the sugar? Yeah, well, and it's a uniform cool. Oh. Okay, so if you would just let it sit in the kettle, then the outside would get cool, and the center would it stay hot. And now we're just taking the cover off, and now it's about 150 degrees. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna take and uh, take it in and put it in a uh, mixer. We're pouring this uh, heavy syrup in here, and then we're gonna put it in a mixer, and we're gonna make our candy base, and then we'll put it in the candy machine. Okay. okay. Yeah. Is this like candy stage right now? It is very thin. I think when you add the air to it. Okay, now we're going to put it in the mixer. We used to have a bakery, and so when you have leftover equipment, you figure out how else you can use it. So then it'll whip here for how long will it whip here, Dad? So it'll whip here for about two minutes. Okay, oh so well, that got wow. stiff in a hurry. <laughs> it, it, it just right now. Okay, so we're going to turn it back on and uh, we're going to add just a little bit of water. Hopefully, if it's not too late. We wanted it to be spreadable, not pourable, so we added a little bit of water back into it. Yeah. You always add water? Uh, yes. Yeah, you always add water. It gets, it, it, this sets up, I should probably just not use the high speed and see if it's, and, and maybe it wouldn't set up so fast. But it just set up immediately. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. The pump on this candy dispenser does an amazing job keeping it smooth and creamy until he's ready to pour it into the candy molds. It was a pretty amazing process. So we're 147 degrees, so we're ready to put it in the molds. And that's how it's done. Get it clean a little bit. And then we have to do that, and then that fills in the cracks. It fills in the mold a little bit better. Do you watch mom's YouTube? Oh, yeah. That's quite watching my mission. As soon as they I, I try to get your numbers up, Lane. <laughs> Did you watch mom's YouTube? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh,
Yum. Take a little bite with every sip of coffee and it's just amazing. So if you want some, come to our house. Come to our house in Alaska. Or you can go to mapledalefarms.com. They're on Facebook and they love giving tours. So if you're in Northern Michigan, Gaylord, Michigan, come visit them. Mapledale Farms. Thank you.